hello and welcome to another video of my tech youtube channel so today we're here to talk about how to install some of the beats uh, agents in order to monitor our client systems and ship the metrics to elasticsearch dashboard that is kibana dashboards all right so let's jump right into the video so uh, these are the steps as to how uh, beats work and how to set up the dashboards and what are the steps we need to perform in order to get the, uh, get the data from the nodes all right so as you might know from the previous videos we already have set up two nodes for elasticsearch and kibana is up and running so let's first check that uh, if kibana is properly running or not okay here we go since i don't have a valid certificate it's showing me this uh, insecure error but in case you're working with an organization you can very well use uh, the same certificates uh, behind the load balancer maybe nginx or you can use alb or alb something like that all right so here we go it's logged in and the kibana is up and running okay so the next thing is you need to know how beats is working and how the data is being stored in a basic level at least so whichever beats mechanism or agent you're using maybe metric beat or packet beat or audit beat or any kind of beat uh, you would have to install the agent the agent will collect the metrics from your local system and it'll ship the metrics or ship the information to elasticsearch directly not kibana because kibana is just for dashboards and it's not going to store anything all right so that's how this works uh, as to how the data is flowing but there's one uh, step for setting up the uh, predefined dashboard so there are some predefined dashboards that you get out of the box uh, from the beats agents from Elasticsearch website. So to set up those dashboards, you would have to have a connectivity from the node that you're being monitoring uh, to the Kibana server. So this is like a direct connectivity you need to do. And it's just a one-time step. You don't have to do it uh, multiple times. All right, so let me just write it here. One-time activity. All right. And the next thing is, uh, you know, there's a prerequisite in case you're using SSL and uh, HTTPS connection for uh, secured, uh, you know, communication between your nodes. You need to set up some node certificates so that whichever node you're, uh, you're monitoring, the communication between that node to your Elasticsearch node would be encrypted and it'll be secure. All right. For that, uh, in the previous videos, you might have noticed that we have generated this certificate, the B12 certificate, and also we would be having a, a PEM file, all right? But for the node to work properly with HTTPS communication, you need to set up two files, that is a CRT, that is a certificate and a key. You need a lock and a key. Uh, I forgot to mention one more thing is, you need to have a file, uh, instances.yaml file, instead of giving manual, okay? Uh, there is also a manual method, like you can, it'll prompt you to enter the number of nodes and the IP addresses and stuff like that. So even if you make one mistake, uh, it might, you know, you might have to cancel it and write it again. So instead of that, it's better that you have a file like this instances.yaml. Okay. And you just mention the nodes that you want the certificates for. It's just okay to have uh, one or two Elasticsearch nodes mentioned here because we're going to use the same certificate for all the clients that we are going to monitor. Okay. There's no change in the certificates for each node. Okay. It's not like, uh, you know, every node is having its own IP address, I mean, uh, certificate, we can do that, but you know, just to make it generic, we're just going to give two nodes over here. All right. And the command would be dot slash bin elastic search, iPhone cert, put it, cert mode, iPhone, iPhone PEM. We need a PEM. I mean, we are, we need the certificates for the PEM file. All right. And uh, we are going to give silent because I don't want it to prompt again and again. And I'm going to give the input file as instances dot YAML iPhone iPhone out will be the output uh, zip file. So all the certificates you will be getting will be in a zip format. Okay, so I can give it like this search.zip. iPhone iPhone pass is an option to make it secure. So you can have a password for the zip file. So I'm not, I'm going to skip this part. Okay, we'll, we're just going to uh, leave it without any password. Okay, and the certificate authority from which you need the certificates. All right, so that uh, you might have noticed in the previous videos as to how uh, we can generate this P12 certificate authority. All right, so I'm just gonna give enter. It'll be prompting me for the password of this Elastic uh, P12 uh, CA, okay? It's empty, right? So I'm just gonna hit enter and here we go. So if I check ls-lrt, uh, we would have the search.zip file. I'm gonna unzip it. 
search.zip. Okay, so if you check, there are uh, separate directories uh, extracted for each node. So I'm just going to see here and here we go. We have the CRT and the key file. Okay, there is also an option to have it without any check. Like we, you can use the HTTPS IPs, but you can just make it like silent or you don't have to have a verification mode. I'll show you that in a bit. Okay. So now uh, I need to go to the MNT my files. I need to install one of these. Okay, I have already installed metric beat. Okay, metric beat is a uh, is a very generic agent that will ship all your CPU memory and the packages that are running and how much uh, how many zombie process and stuff like that. So you get a kind of a pretty good information about the system that you're being monitor uh, that you're monitoring uh, to Kibana. Okay, so I have already installed it. So let's go to etc metric beat and here we have the metric beat dot yaml configuration file okay so this is the configuration file and this is pretty much it you just have to have this basic configuration in place okay uh, basic things that you need to have i mean the modules as to cpu module memory module how the you know uh, the the client is being monitored those kind of modules will be in this path and uh, the number of shards let's keep it at minimum if you have more number of no uh, nodes you can increase it and you uh, it would be advisable to use best compression method so that whatever data you're shipping to your Elasticsearch nodes it will be compressed and shipped okay so that it can uh, save some space in your nodes uh, in your Elasticsearch nodes okay and we have this step so this the uh, uh, this what just one step it's a one time activity as i said over here for setting up your dashboard you can comment this we don't have to have this in all the nodes we just have to have it in one of the node so that uh, you can get the predefined dashboards in place for Kibana. All right. And this is the main step as to how uh, you're going to ship the metrics to Elasticsearch data nodes. Okay. And here we go. We have the username as Elastic, password. We have the certificate mentioned as the CRT that we just generated and the key, the certificate authority. We generated it in the last video, in the previous video. Uh, so that we have to mention it here and these are the pre-processors uh, like you know it'll add some information to your uh, uh, to your data okay and the last one is the logging level is info so that uh, for the first time you need to have some log files for your metric base so that it's working properly okay so let's go ahead and start it up service metric beat start okay so it would be starting now so uh metric beat has started okay but there are some refresh periods for every module that you're monitoring okay metric beat can monitor your uh you know your apache package your uh, redis package or any kind of package so metric beat is like all the metrics that you want to ship you can do that with some modules okay you can have uh, it's inside etc metric modules and you can see here all the modules that can be enabled and you can fetch all the uh, metrics say for example http module you have uh, ha proxy you have the graphite module which is for monitoring as well all right so the next thing is you need to generate the uh, predefined dashboards right so for that we just have to give metric beat setup iphone iphone dashboards So as you can see here, it's giving you a warning that Kibana must be running and reachable from this node. Okay. So uh, before it is generating any dashboard, let me quickly go here and show you that there are no dashboards. Okay. It has populated uh, a single page. Okay. You see that there's only one page and the number of rows per page is 20. Okay. If I refresh here, it is still generating, I guess. Yeah, it's still generating. So. If you notice here, if I refresh, here we go. So there are two pages now. So it's still generating the dashboards, the predefined dashboards, okay. While it's generating the dashboard, let's go ahead and, you know, you can click on this metrics tab under observability to check what are all the nodes being monitored. As you can see here, you uh, there's CPU usage, memory usage, and the network inbound outbound traffic. So as you can see here, we have successfully installed metric weight package uh, with HTTPS connection. That is a secure SSL connection. All right. Let's go to the other node and do the same thing. So I have already installed metric bait and I will show you the metric bait.yaml file. As you can see here, uh, there is setup.kibana. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment it out. 
so that we uh, we can make sure that we don't need that step okay and here uh, you can notice that i have commented the ssl certificate key and authority and stuff like that so i've just mentioned as ssl dot verification underscore mode is none so that in case you forget to generate the certificate or you don't want to have uh, you know an extra step of generating nodes uh, specific certificates and you just want to keep it like you know a little bit of an insecure manner then you can just skip the verification of your ssl certificate to communicate with elastic search nodes so uh, by specifying the verification mode as none all right so let's write it let's start it up so i'll just check the status yes it is inactive that is dead okay i'm going to start it and let's check the status again so it would be populating in a bit of uh, uh, time because it, it it's going to take a few seconds to publish the data over here and as you can see here there are about six pages with approximately 20 different dashboards in each page so there are maybe more than 100 dashboards predefined by elasticsearch website for you to you know go through them all right so i'm just going to search for host so you can see here there is something known as host services overview which is for a metric weight okay and i can see host overview ecs so if i go to that dashboard i can see the running services for order all the i mean all the uh, uh you know metric weight clients okay here it should show me the cpu usage of the first system that we installed still refreshing here we go so as you can see here, the disk usage, you can, you, you get a pretty good uh, information about what are all the things happening inside your system with metric bay. Okay. This is like the predefined things. You can also enable some modules like Azure proxy and whatever, whatever packages that you have installed. There are about uh, hundred plus integrations with metric bay. <clears throat> you can use all of them. Okay. Now let's go to metrics tab. Okay. Here you can go here. Let's go to the metrics tab and see if we got the other node. No, it's still to come. In the system overview, you don't have an option to select the, uh, you know, the uh, the the machine that you're monitoring, right? We, there, there should be a drop down over here so that we can select and we can just uh, see only that uh, the the, the, no, the data for that node, right? So how do you do that? I mean, I'll just quickly show you how it's done. Okay, let me maximize it and click on edit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this uh, type. I'm going to click on controls. Okay, I'm going to click on add and it's going to be host name. Okay, and I'm going to select the uh, index pattern as metric bait and I'm going to select it as host name. Here we go, agent.hostname, okay? And I'm gonna click on update just to preview as to what, I, what are all the options I'm gonna get. As you can see here, the second server is coming up over here. So that means the data is flowing inside uh, Kibana, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update Kibana filters on each change, use time filter, and I'm gonna select all these options. Maybe in the next video, I can explain to you how to create a visual uh, visualization, okay? I'm gonna save and return. <clears throat> As you can see here, once I clicked on save and return, it has come here. I'm going to click and drag it to the top. Okay. So it will be something like this. Okay. So if I click on this, I can select which, uh, which, uh, for, uh, which node I want to see the data for. Okay. <laughs> I have clicked on save. Let's switch to view mode and here we go. So for the last 15 minutes, I just have the data for UI. I'm going to select this. And as you can see here, all the data about this node is populating over here. Okay. All right. So what I've done is I just restarted my other VM, the client VM, wherein we had uh, specified verification underscore mode as none. All right. And here is the updated configuration. So there's no changes at all. It's just that I have mentioned uh, the verification mode as none on the left side, which is the client and the right side. I have, uh, uh, as you can see here, I just commented the setup.kibana to verify that 
it's sending the data properly without this setup.kibana. So as I said, uh, for any kind of beat mechanism, it's just one time setup for Kibana dashboards and the other time you don't need to specify setup.kibana, you just need to mention the output.elasticsearch or you can send your data to Logstash and from Logstash you can send it to Elasticsearch. All right, so both sides, the metric beat is running. Okay, let's go ahead and verify on the dashboard. And as you can see here, we have both the servers mentioned over here. So one is with the SSL connectivity, that is the GUI server. One is without the SSL connectivity where the verification mode is now. All right, so that's how you can integrate metric beat. So it's the same with uh, any kind of beat mechanism. Uh, it may be packet beat or audit beat or any kind of beat mechanism. All right, that's it with the video guys. Uh, thank you so much for staying patient and watching the complete video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on ELK, Linux, DevOps and SRE based concepts.